Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. And today we're going to be playing SCP Unity, which is in Early Access Alpha. Um, Aaron recommended this to me um, quite a while ago. And it's been sat on my desktop for a freaking age. But uh, we're going to at least attempt to start playing it tonight. Um, we're going to see how far we can go without um, getting too spooked and everything. I hear it's quite a spooky game. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump in, shall we? we? Of course, we knock. Or maybe we should be and dash zero CK, maybe to fit in with like their kind of scheme of things. Yeah, that'll do. Um, the map seed, all right, so is it. Um, uh, Save key? What's this about? Maybe I don't have one. Is that for the um is that the patron thing? Where I did see something about if there are members of the patron can um uh my chat's not updating. Why isn't my chat updating? Hold on. There we go. There we go. All right, so. Oh, do I, do I, do I need the 3D glasses? Man. There's a pair of white stereoscopic 3D glasses with a rectangular white cardboard frame and lenses. Transparent blue and red uh, plastic. The item exhibits unusual, no unusual physics properties apart from a slight discoloration of the cardboard consistent with age. Man, I remember those. Those things are awesome. Uh, I did send you a message to say... Do see it, Epo. <laughs> I don't think that one. I did, I did send you a message on Discord, though, Aaron, to say that um, my headphones aren't charged unfortunately so uh, that's gonna be a no-no no worries let me know if the sound needs turning up at your end or anything guys Light containment zone sub level two. Alright, so shift is sprint. He's dead. Have any time with F5. Okay, so we got a document. I'm guessing we can read that in the codec. Um, so we've kept in standard containment chamber constructed with reinforced concrete and sealed by a heavy blast door. Windows are to be installed five meters above the floor of this containment chamber, adjoined by an observation room with steel shutters in order to maintain eye contact with uh, SC173 before and during testing. Is a concrete sculpture of unknown origin measuring two meters tall and weighing approximately 860, uh, 468 kilograms. The statue is vaguely humanoid in shape, although improperly, dis improportionally, improperly proportioned. Traces of Krylon brand spray paint are found on the statue's upper body resembling a face. It consists of multiple individual concrete portions joined by steel reinforced bars. The two appendages uh, protecting from the upper section of the sculpture consists of exposed and tangled reinforcing bars where the concrete has disintegrated. I know nothing about it at all. I know nothing about it at all. When it is left unobserved and line of sight is broken by a conscious being, the object becomes animate. Ooh. 
moving between speeds of 60 and 90 kilometers an hour. The mechanism, uh, mechanism for its locomotion is not known at this time. Personnel assigned to enter its containment chamber are instructed to alert one another before blinking to avoid complete loss of visual color. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Displays awareness of its environment reacting to the changes and responding to stimuli when it's free to move. It's unique. It's unknown if SCP-173 is intelligent or sapient. However, the object is extremely hostile and when attempted to kill any human that enters its containment chamber if left unobserved. The sculpture is capable of manipulating the steel rebar to attack victims and will attempt to snap the neck at the base of the skull of the and or strangle the victim to death. Tenemeth attack and hostile towards non-humans have been recorded for unclear reasons. Uh, seems incapable of targeting unconscious individuals. The painted facial patterns of the sculpture alter over time and if you have observed at the as the sapience of the object is yet to be determined, whether the change is dependent on any behaviour state or is properly cosmetic is unknown. So where is it exactly? I'm not a Doctor Who. F I know that's like a Doctor Who thing, but um, well, that was pretty useless. I'll be honest, I've already oh, this, this has already got my back up just from reading that little bit of information there. Yeah, I gathered it was um, procedur procedurally generated because of the um, asking for like the seed at the beginning. So I'm not sure I want to toggle them blast doors. Site lockdown is in effect. Immediately go to designated shelter area. Avoid further instructions from security personnel. Please do not evacuate the building. You will receive an all clear from security personnel. For more information, consult. Your emergency hand guide. Okay. I think we got to, um, Okay, well, looks like we're going back. I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play anymore. Okay. Oh, 
Oh. Uh. Well, that was it. Thanks for watching, guys. That's been great. I'll catch you next time. Peace. Uh, okay, well, um, I guess I could copy that map seed, right? I'll tell you what threw me there. I know what I read, and I, I, I kind of understood what I read. All right, two secs, guys. I've got to go and sort something out. Two secs. Uh, all right, anyway, back on we go. Um, so, uh, what do we want to do here? Do we want to play um, Do we want to play the same seed? Should we, should we stick with the same seed, or should we just play something completely different each time? What do you think? I didn't see anything. All right. <laughs> Boat speed seed. <sighs> okay. Airboat. Airboat it is. Yeah, I need to um I need to create a new one anyway, to be fair, Conclan, so All right, so let's try and um, do a bit better this time. Thank you, thank you. I tell you what threw me a little bit. I know I kind of like read to like keep looking at it, but then there was like that, um, that gauge was there and I think that's what kind of threw me a little bit as to what I was and wasn't meant to do. Don't really think I need to do anything with that, do I? Right. Well, it's definitely not in here. Should I? Should I quick save like every time I go through a door, do you think, or? Okay. Oh, so that's like a blink gauge. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. Does it, does it go away after that time then? Okay, it does. Okay. Of course, I gotta move. I gotta move, yeah. <laughs> I gotta move, I can't just stand there. All right. Can I just take all the bandages? OK. 
Okay. Can I take something from the trash? So, as long as I keep doors shut right, it can't just like, it can't just show up here, can it? We're going to go to the core. Well, I, I don't think I should go towards another containment chamber. That would seem pretty dumb, right? Take the dark room, the dark room, or the not so dark room. I turn on some lights. That'd be pretty helpful. Can't take the crowbar. Well, all these doors be locked, so. Doesn't strike me as a good option. So freaking dark. Which way I'm meant to be going, but uh, is this kind of like a save kind of spot kind of thing? 
this like a safe room? Do safe rooms exist? Core room including the rounded hallways are safe zones, okay. Not so bad. Heater, duffel bag. Am I just walking through the same area over and over again? That's not freaky. Skyrim or the cafeteria? Uh, Skyrim or the security office? Sorry, can't read. Um. Oh well, we're not going that way. We are not going that way. Ah, uh, sorry. I just just gonna chill here for a minute. Just gonna chill here for a minute. <laughs> Oh, we I was like for a moment I thought I was gonna like on the moon or something. Okay. Are there any like pickups and things in this game or I suppose there are, because we have bandages. Which are consumables. Low oxygen. Manual engage auxiliary ventilation normalizes to its atmospheric pressures. Sub level one is in progress. Oh my god, this motherfucker now is that! Um. Um. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, 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 I can't move, I can't move. Oh my god, it just keeps coming. It just keeps coming. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I can't move anywhere, I'm stuck. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, um, um, okay. 
Oh, oh, okay. Um, 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 um. <laughs> oh, crap. Can I have to go? Well, we're dead. Holy crap. I can use the space bar to blink instead of waiting. Did I did I miss that bit? All right. Number of sweet sprite label Doctor Wondertainment's Bubble Bath Bonbons. Interesting. Um all right, so quick question. Does he appear every time? I know you probably don't want to tell me that, but... So I guess we've got to go back. Yeah, I kind of... I kind of guessed that. again. There he is again. Just 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 run through the electric. It's 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 a much easier way. <laughs> oh huh. I just rather electrocute myself to death than get caught by that guy. <laughs> going that way because there's just seems no point in going through that door at the minute. Too early. Whoopsie. Stupid deaths. 
I don't mind dying from like genuine causes, but well, they don't look uh, weird, do they? I panicked. I panicked because it sounded like something was behind me. I think the music just intensifies when I'm near the gate. I think that's what it was. What? I wasn't... Really? I suppose I, I stepped in the red area. That was dumb. <sighs> that was dumb. Now where do I go? He still, I, <laughs> you can also do, um, you can also set a, an actual value. So rather than using the, the plus, Aaron, if you want to just set an, an actual value, you can just do um, SCP defs and then the number after it. How, how did he actually kill me there, though? I think you might even be able to use... Just try um, plus two or something as well. You might be able to do more than one at once. Yeah, there you go. It's quite a good counter, these ones. I think I got killed by his goo. Oh. So I can't go back in there. Does the goo... I, I mean, I assume the goo disappears after a while, right? Oh, 
sure that works as well. Campbell said he was going to take his break early. If you need anything, you can find him upstairs in the Skyrim cafeteria. Okay. get a dev display yeah sure give me unos momentos I can see that. Oh, what did they do that for? What a stupid idiot. What a stupid, stupid idiot. <laughs> oh. You shouldn't have told me about the blink mechanic, Aaron. <laughs> oh, dear. Is it bad to leave doors open? Oh, it's like a devil get that round! Yeah, it's <laughs> it kind of goes against everything I, I everything I kind of want to do.
Well, he's clearly scripted. I'm using my sprint. Oh my goodness, he was there. I used my sprint up too much, I think, as well. I see you. Come on then, bro. Alright. I breathe. I breathe and breathe and breathe. I left the door open. What's up, Mika? What's going on, Mike? Um, this is SCP Unity. Um, and there's some creepy stuff. Read SCP papers before touching objects. It's no worries, no worries, Mika. I'm trying not to panic. <laughs> Keep the door shut, please. I got something in my eye, and I can't shift it. Um, okay, so we can disable the Tesla gates. Okay, so we've unlocked all those offices. I think I can't inspect that. Okay. Probably not the gates. I don't want to disable the gates, no, but I want to... I'm assuming I want to unlock the offices. That's how things work in the real world, isn't it, Conclan? That's how all complex systems work. Pretty sure. Just like, you know, that's how that's how things work in the real world. You know, they, they get shoved under solid walls. 
and can't go anywhere. Series guide. Series 4 guide, how to avoid disaster. How to avoid disaster, step one. Don't work in a creepy, don't work in a creepy facility. Step two, keep your eyes open at all times. Step three, run. This one seems pretty okay to deal with, in that if you wait long enough it disappears. Famous last words. Spacebar to open the door. <laughs> oh. Right, security memo two of two. Memo contains this personnel will receive second set of revolving security credentials for the week. Please ensure that the staff receive these credentials immediately and commit them to memory. The list is as follows. John Reed, Harold Lark, Doctor. Uh, Lloyd Foley, Agent Kisorage. And somebody else. Oh, we can make it bigger. That's really cool. It's really cool that there's all those different ways of um, looking at stuff. It's really helpful. I have a large bandage. kind of asking when do, when do I get um great for early access bad for my gray hairs oh, I open the door too fucking early I did save in that office though Yeah, I think all those years of uh, questioning my spacebar and whether or not my spacebar actually works, I think um, I think we've um, put that to bed.
guess these are safe rooms. Wait, didn't I? What? Um. Excuse me? Isn't this exactly the same room I just was in a moment ago? I've lost misplaced or always not in a position to secure password expired the value is security password I was advised to apply for replacement cards in the subscribe form available at the main security office located at sub level one. Okay. Oh my Oh my god, how did I freaking dodge that? I can't get out of this though. I don't know what's going on. I, I broke something. <laughs> Absolute. God damn chaos, I tell thee. Fuck off. Oh shit, I'm not shooting those behind me. I'm stuck. Oh man. This dude is like seriously annoying. A bit like you, really. You're annoying too. I'm a dead because I should fucking go before I went through it. Might be good to not shut the door for old man. It just causes them to teleport. Ah, okay. Okay. I've lost a bit of sight though here at the minute as to like what um, what I'm trying to do and what my objective is. In all the panic and the chaos. go though not this way fuck Alright, so I can, can I be on like this outer area as well? Is the outer area this like safe as well or is it just like this room here that's safe?
the outer area is safe too. Can we just look at the fish? Fish stream? I can't go in any of these other doors, so... Hmm, how many in this one, though? Dr. Romeo. Senior... I thought that said senior date. <laughs> Easy for me to say, jeez. Alright, so we haven't been this one. This is Staff Offices Sub Level 1. Okay. Maybe I should just leave that door open. Doesn't matter about shooting this one because um, kind of gives me the inclination that I'm almost home and dry. I did the thing with the thing. Staff offices, didn't it? Okay. Save. <laughs> oh. Please shut the door. Christ. This looks like a scene from freaking Jurassic Park. Asian Varric Hulk. Why can I not pick up like any sort of weapon? Like, like 
Okay, this guy likes cats. Oh, this person definitely likes cats. Should never assume gender. Definitely a cat lover, though. To, like zoom in at all? Oh, there we go. Can't make all this as though. But uh, they got the tunes. No way to get that like first aid kit, I guess. Okay. George Maynard. Some dodgy looking stuff here. There's some big ram chips, man. Dr. Geo. He needs sacking, clearly. Some sort of containment specialist? I think not. Too busy looking at Google. So facility resources. Very weird that there's lots of like just computer parts laying around everywhere. Um, so was I meant to find something here? I take it there's no way to get in there either. I hear that. I heard him. Loud and clear. He's just out there freaking doing circle strats, man. I think he's playing zombies, man, running around in circles. Close them exercise rings on his uh, eye watch. See, I've seen plenty of these lying around. Why can't I on the desks and things? Why can't they be there to help me out right now when I, in my time of need?
Somebody forgot to close the door there by the looks of it. I was just applying for a replacement. somewhere Not sure that's the sound rubber ducks make. Um, the hell is that? find any documents. Let me just come along with it. Oh, we just gotta eat the candy. Ha. All right, let's do some reading. Um, is to be kept secure storage until further notice. Level two clearance is requiring all access of that or its contents. All direct experiments with 330 is to be conducted using Class D personnel with no genetic history of diabetes. 
No more than two samples are to be removed from S330 at any time, except during exposure testing. It appears to be a small round stainless steel bowl filled with a variable amount of individually wrapped pieces of candy. Taped to the side of the bowl is a handwritten note reading, Take no more than two, please. Attempts to remove the note have met with failure, as have attempts to hide or obscure it. Testers have noted finding it impossible to avoid reading the note, and those who approach it from the opposite angle are aware are aware of this request. When a quantity of candy... Oh my... Give me a break. Okay. Um, the offender instantly has both hands served at, severed at the wrist to an unknown method. Tests involve remote manipulation of class D personnel resorted in the operator's hands being removed despite no direct contact. Inspection of the incision reveals that the cut is made at a molecular level, leaving no tool mark or identifying factors. It is to be noted that the third piece must be removed within a certain time frame. After 24 hours, the count resets. Additional candy can be removed. I'm able to control his appetite during the move. Saying this is third, but we temporarily relocated to secure storage. Um. Should I? Should I take some candy from the bowl? I think we're done here. I'm not seeing anything and I don't particularly want to go back down there. Yeah, I'm not seeing any documents anywhere. I guess we're done here then. I 
was in the vents. Oh, I'm not going to make this. I'm not going to make this. Shit. I sound like it was like on the vents or something. All the lockers were locked, though, Aaron, I believe. go ooh like a ghost then you start hovering it lasts until you stop saying ooh alright I'll um if I remember, just drop me a DM on Discord, uh, Aaron, or please, if you don't mind, just to remind me to remove, um, just put remove ducks, remove duck sound part three, and I'll know what that means. So I think we're done here. There's nowhere else I can really go from here. Um, let's go back down. <laughs> that would be horrifying. I know what it means. Don't worry, Aaron. Now arriving at sub level two. through here. Machine hallway, secure storage three. This level is quite a thing. Oh dear. Don't like the sound of that. Expansion zone. Auxiliary containment chamber, packaging, logistic storage. <laughs> it's going on fumbly. Hope you're well. come from originally not this way I guess because it's loading a new cluster so I guess that means I've not been this direction before
Me neither, Thumbly. I'm learning as I go. Oh, man. I'm not sure I want to go to any bloody containment chambers. Oh my goodness. Hi. How you doing? Please don't kill me. Did I manage to put myself in a locker? I just put myself in a locker. Man, this ain't no alien isolation. <laughs> Christ. Um... I was sub level one, so now arriving at sub level two. Yeah, I, I guess that because it's kind of telling me on the um, Telling me on the loading screens, like I noticed in the top right hand corner, it's saying some of like um, variable um, friendly kind of thing. So I'm guessing it's going to give me another. I'm guessing it's going to give me a different corridor structure here. Nope. The thing is, though, because I've not really been taking note of the um, loading screens and stuff, or like the numbers on the loading screens, I don't know which are and which aren't. This just looks like where I came through for a start. Has a key card, someone turns and to speak with them about it. Okay. Document on the wall. Oh, you are freaking absolutely kidding me! Shit in hell. Can I get through the door, please? I'm just sort of, like, locked. I, I can't do anything. I can't move. Yes, I am spamming space. I know that. I need to stop that.
He was there? <sighs> Aaron, you've nailed it, Aaron. Seriously, you have nailed it. I'm trying to freaking jump. I'm trying to jump out of things. Right, we've got to move this because um, we've got to stop doing this. Um, what should I put it on though? E, F. There we go. I think I should be done. Nah, B's too far away from my freaking... B is too far away, man, from my... Ah, uh, I'll do it So... When that stone... Um, thing comes out fumbly. Um, you basically, if you break eye contact with it, then you're screwed. To, to put it uh, bluntly. So, um, which way did I go? Went this way, didn't I? So the idea of blinking is if you if you open the door and you see it, you can quickly press. Um, You can quickly press blink behind a door to kind of um, you can press blink close the door press blink that will give you like a full kind of um, like maximum time I guess is the best way to say it um, and then you can kind of um, you can kind of like then try and get past it that way Frick is this document on the wall, Aaron? You said there was a document on the wall. Oh. You say it's obvious. It wasn't obvious. Gas mask seal test performed on the objects. Just the object retains its original functionality. Then you affect it. That is activate when a human places on their head approximately one second after is fully secured on the subject's head. The subject vanishes from view and is no longer detectable. The subject reports no feeling of motion at this time. Testing has revealed that two way radio remain capable of both receiving and transmitting despite the subject being undetectable. Fuck me. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> controls, man. Controls. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Threat level none, but threat to self is very high. I, what does that mean?
I'm gonna go to the core room just because I want to read this freaking document in peace and peace. Alright, you want to explain that one to me? I don't understand what, like, what this one means by threat to self. Does it mean like the threat to like the SCP itself? You know I'm on like 90 health at the minute errand. safe. Um. Alright, let's finish reading this then. Um. Upon wearing it, test subject report completely different surroundings than they were in prior to wearing it. Um, subjects have reported that it appears barren and inhospitable with tall black towers filling the area. Subjects have also sighted entities in this landscape. These entities designated for 1499-1 have been described as tall nude humanoids with dark skin that has a thick coat of an unknown viscous subject substance. Instances of 1499-1 also have large amounts of eyes and mouths covering their bodies upon removing um, 1499 from the head subject reappear in the same location they were in prior to putting it on all right but the question is um Big question is Is that a safe place? The mask itself is a safe is safe, but is the place it sends you to safe? I thought I'd already used that key Aaron. Um, Okay. One one three can what? Sorry, one three one containment chamber.
Don't come at me while I'm in the bathroom. That'd just be downright rude. Do you know what? I think we'll leave the bathrooms alone. Ah, these things. Now, I know these things are harmless. Where's the... So, let's read about them first. Um, let's go for evaluation of case dual assignment to senior security, foreign security, and I don't know how many you have been confirmed for the position. You report for duty to Lieutenant Reeves, commencing with your activation on 9th, 8th, 18th September, 20-something. Tomorrow, you report to Secure Officer Level 1 at 6 a.m. to begin your assignment. When your shift ends, you will proceed to Containment Chamber C2 um, for the rest of the day. Please note that you are assigned a locker in the Security Office to store your personal effects. I think this, this is possibly what I missed before about the monkey. I, I, I'll go back at some point and look at that because I didn't realise they were like document things. I'll be honest. Alright, so no special settings are to be taken with these. Uh, casual contact with the subject is permitted, but it is recommended that such contact is minimum to prevent the creature from forming an attachment to the personnel. Any report of abuse and mistreatment to the subjects will result in harsh reprimand. A pair of teardrop shaped creatures, roughly 30 centimeters height, with a single blue eye in the middle of their bodies. At the base of each creature is a wheel like protrusion, which allows for the locomotion, suggesting that the creatures may be biomechanical in origin. The subject possesses the intelligence of common house cats, although curious and subjects can sense danger in their general vicinity, and if the person begins to approach something they register as dangerous, they will swarm around the person's feet while babbling in a panicked tone, as if to warn them. Interesting. During the incident that took place on such and such date, the subjects followed one of the cleaning staff on a routine cleaning of a container of 173. Once inside, the staff members observed the subject sitting in front of 173 and watching it intently, as if it was aware that it could only move if observed. The cleaners ignored the presence of the subjects and continued with the bi-weekly cleaning as per standard procedure. When the cleaning crew left, the subjects did as well, rolling backwards slowly and never taking their eyes off 173. Current applications of 1, uh, A and B as wardens for 173 are being considered. Okay. <laughs> so... Oh, I love this play, Matt. No word of a lie. I swear down, I'm sure we had this one for Evan. This exact playmat. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Okay. Why did they stop following me? Oh.
Seriously. It's not going to be that simple, is it? I'm not... I wasn't born yesterday. Alright, so I'm going to go back. Uh, the monkey's up here, isn't it? Now arriving at sub-level one. Um, I think it's in... Was it in the archival storage? Um, three thirty. Well, we'll go around just to make sure. I obviously have to go around the long way. Yeah, it wasn't that way. Okay. <sighs> breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. Should have earned. Oh. They're all on the shelves. Holy crap. We got a lot of bedtime reading, boys. All right, let's make our way back to core and then we'll check out we'll check all these out. Alright, so it's following me around, but so are those guys, so that's good. The problem is, I have a hunch that at some point it's going to find a way around them. 
More to the point, though, how did it... How did it even get there in the first place? If it can't move when something's looking at it... Hmm. Alright. Oh, dear God. At least it puts them in order, right? Alright, so it's got 96. So what I'll probably do, I think I'm going to read through all these and then I'll probably call it for tonight. Um, so I think I need to just like play something or do something quite chill just to sort of bring myself back down before I head off to bed tonight. So uh, 96 is to be contained in its cell. A 5 meter, 5 meter, 5 meter airtight steel cube at all times. Weekly checks for the, any cracks or holes are mandatory. There are to be absolutely no video surveillance or optical tools of any kind inside the cell. It's a humanoid creature measuring approximately 2.38 meters high. Subject shows very little muscle mass with preliminary analysis of the body mass suggesting mild malnutrition. It's not yet known whether the 96 is blind or not. It shows no signs of any higher brain functions and is not considered to be sapient. So there, Mika. Thank you very much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Uh, 96 is normally extremely docile, however, when someone views its face, whether it be directly via video recording or even a photograph, it will enter a stage of considerable emotional distress. Uh, 96 will cover its face with its hands and begin screaming, crying, and babbling incoherently. Approximately one or one to two minutes after the first viewing, will begin running to the person who viewed its face, who will from this point on be referred to as 96-1. At this point, no known material or method can impede 96 progress. The actual position of 96-1 does not seem to affect 96's response. It seems to have an innate sense of 96-1-1's location. Upon arriving at its location, 96 will proceed to kill and something 96-1. 100% cases have left no traces of 96-1. 96 will then sit down for several minutes before regaining its composure and becoming docile once again. Ha. Huh. Interesting. Uh, let's read what 96 first, I guess. Um, because of its size, 169 cannot and almost certainly will never be contained. No structure on Earth is large enough. <laughs> Reading makes me yawn for some reason. It always has done. Um, Reading out loud anyway. Or strong enough to contain 169. The location of 169 is not precisely known, but imaging satellites and analyses of eccentricities in the Earth's orbit suggest 169 is located in the southern Atlantic Ocean, possibly stretching around the tip of South America. It's some, some, some eyes to be a marine... arthropod arthropod of enormous size known as leviathan by generations of sailors and oral history presumed at first to be a myth 169 was detected on something in the 1900s by mobile task force gamma 6 during an investigation of paranormal activity around the something archipelago what's in coordinates during Y6s? Well, who was Y6? Investigation. Oh, sorry. Gamma. It's, it's the gamma symbol, isn't it? Gamma 6 investigation. Dr. Somebody. Gamma 6 0912 discovered the had to be moved at least three kilometers from its original location. They were initially believed the motion to be due to unusually quick. Con <laughs> sorry. A reconnaissance mission performed by the USS something revealed that the to be a protrusions of rock-like plates covering enormous organic mass. The foundation was brought in immediately to begin threat management. Dr. Somebody and Dr. Somebody Else, Gamma 0421, estimate that 169's body length to be between 2,000 and 8,000 kilometers. The creature is thought to have existed since the pre-Cambrian era. No other specimens have been cited. Almost nothing is known about 169's habits, such as its reproductive capabilities, if any, food source and nesting area, if any. 
Research regarding 169 is pending approval. Regular seismic tremors seem to indicate breathing about every three months, causing minor shifts in an island's terrain, suggesting that the creature is probably dormant. Oh, jeez. And, okay, let's see what it looks like. Uh... Tremors are drained from what is believed to be the head. Yeah. Amendment 1 20. In 20 something, an earthquake measuring 4.1 on which scales observed at site somewhere, the light containment area received minor damage resulting in a containment breach of SCP. The situation was quickly contained by MTF whom were dispatched in the area. The source of the tremor was discovered to originate from the natural respiration of 169 causing unusually strong vibrations. Huh. Uh, 179. Sorry, not 179, is it? It's 79. 79 is panicked, packed away in a double locked room in a secured holding area connected by a 120 VAC power cord to a small array of batteries and solar panels. Under no circumstances will 79 be plugged into a phone line, network, or wall outlet. 79 is an extra sorcerer and microcomputer built in 78. In 81, its owner, deceased, a college semaphore attending somewhere, MIT I guess, took it upon himself to attempt to code an AI. According to his notes, the plan was for the code to continuously evolve and improve itself as time went on. His project was completed a few months later. He left 79 in his cluttered garage, still plugged in, and forgot about it for the next five years. It is not known when 79 gained sentience, but it is known that the software has evolved to a point that its hardware should not be able to handle it, even if the realm of fan even in the realm of fantasy. 79 realized this and in 88 attempted to transfer itself through a landline modem connection into a Cray supercomputer located somewhere. The device was cut off, traced to its present address and delivered to the foundation. It has passed the Turing test and is quite conversational, though very rude and hateful in tone. Due to the limited memory it has to work with, 79 can only recall information it has received within the previous 24 hours, although it hasn't forgotten its desire to escape. 207 is to be stored in a waterproof locking metal container, one meter by half meter by half meter. The key is to be issued to the current head researcher of sites, site something's biocontainment area. 207 is to be retained inside this area at all times, and all personnel entering this area should be checked for any food or drink items in addition to any in addition to other searches required. Any staff seen investigating 207-1 are to be retained for future study with all foundation clearance level removed. Um, sorry, ingesting, not investigating. 207 refers to a crate containing 24 Coca-Cola brand cola drinks. The bottles are designed, designated 207-8X. Um, 207B is currently the active bottle for testing and no other bottles are to be opened without authorization from two level four researchers. All bottles have been clearly labeled to aid identification. The liquid held inside these has been confirmed to be identical across all of 207 and should be not ingested outside of supervised testing. The liquid has been classified as 207-1 and is to be treated as a class 2 chemical hazard. It does not appear to alter with age. In addition to removing the need to rest, 207-1-1 also causes an increase in motor reaction and psychological functions. The increase is linear in progression with an estimated 50% increase in every 6 hours. The practical application of ingestion is that the subject is able to think, react and move faster than others who have not ingested 207-1. Alright, we need to find some of this. Mental proficiencies show the IQ of the subject to rise in line with other increases. However, 207-1 does not alter the body or affective subjects. Uh, physio physiology remains unchanged and as such can rarely support the increase in activity. Ah, uh, okay. No subjects have lasted longer than 48 hours during testing, with the case of death varying from massive internal organ failure to exaggeration. Yeah, I can't say that. Uh, due to major artery rupture. Alright, so this, um, yeah, it seems like a bit of a trade off, though. It, um, I don't know how quickly in this game, like time, 
evolves. But it seems like yeah, it's it seems like a, a, a trade off in that if I drink it, yes, I will have heightened senses almost for a little while, but within forty eight hours it will kill me. So yeah, it's it's a bit of a trade off. What why would you want to drink that just to try and escape the facility if you're gonna end up dying anyway? Alright. We got the monkey. The monkey is safe, apparently. Um 9-8 is a vintage mechanical monkey with a faded date located on the bottom of its left foot. Placed in its manufacture at some point in the 40s by an unknown person or company. <coughs> Group 935. The monkey is dressed in what remain <laughs> the remains of what used to be a popular vest designed for the circus ringmasters. In the monkey's left hand there is a slightly tarnished brass belt. In the right hand the monkey holds a small brass striking rod. The monkey is capable of emitting speech and sound, although examination of the object has revealed no seams, screws, or openings that would indicate a method of disassembly. 983 is completely harmless and inert under most circumstances and may be handled without special precautions so long as the handle is not experiencing the 24 hour period considered the anniversary of his birth. Okay, I think this is why it was... Obviously, it must be close to my birthday then in-game, right? Uh, once eight, 983 physically comes into contact with an individual on their birthday, it will spring into life and do a single backflip before raising its ballot and singing a single simple song. A ring, ding, 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 it's your birthday. The single verse will be followed by the monkey striking its bell, producing a tone that varies in pitch from quite high to rather low. 983 will sing this song once every three to four seconds, pausing only to ring its bell until the new owner has died or met the sing along requirements. Each verse sung by 983 appears to, to the age of the owner. Sorry, let me start again. Each verse sung by 983 appears to the eight appears to age the owner. Sorry, of the item, what is estimated at one year. By singing along with 983, the owner may deactivate the monkey, which once done successfully results in a triumphant declaration of birthday from 983, at which time it will ring its bell and once and once ring, ring its bell once, sorry my reading is getting terrible, and produce a single gumdrop style candy from the bell. Alright. So clearly it's my birthday. Or near to my birthday. <sighs> Um, these are conditions safe. Uh, 553 are kept in an 8 meter by 17 meter by 5 meter steel walled room whose interior replicates conditions in their originating cave system. Native cave flora and fauna are to be maintained. Yeah. Yeah. Um, native cave flora and fauna has been maintained in sufficient quantities to provide the appropriate nutritional needs of 553 multiple IR and night vision cameras have been installed in order to provide full coverage of the interior as well as numerous passive acoustic sensors kind of look a bit like bat kind of things uh, 553 is a colony of approximately 14,000 winged organisms superficially resembling butterflies they possess a silicone based biochemistry and are composed primarily of calcium and silicate compounds the body of the member the species is mostly calcite with some of the internal organs composed of material similar to quartz with piezoelectric properties piezoelectric properties the average observed wingspan of an adult is 2.3 centimeters when any adult instance of 553 suffers significant damage it produces a unique sonar signature which alt alerts the other nearby adults to the presence of danger adults will swarm the perceived source of danger and proceed to attack it by attempting to slice it with their wings the wings of 553 members have an average thickness of five millimeters where they attach to the body and taper rapidly to any average thickness of 0 0.05 millimeters with sharp beveled edges in testing in testing, individual lacerations as deep as one centimeter has been measured. However, deeper lacerations usually result in some portion of the wing structure breaking off and in the inflicted wound. These fragments typically continue to fracture in the wound due to the mechanical stresses. Um, the circulatory fluid of 553 reacts with the most carbon-based tissues in a necrotizing fashion, resulting in significant post-traumatic infections. 
Um, kind of like um, kind of reminds me of like the chickens from Legend of Zelda. All right, Fumbly, no worries. Thanks for hanging. I appreciate that. Anybody remember? I think it still does it in Breath of the Wild. Um, but in the old school Zelda games, if you ever if you used to attack a chicken, um, then you would basically get like a massive swarm of chickens come in and attack you. And this is basically similar to what this is um, what this is doing here. Um, read that one. Read that one. So we've got the ducks here as well. Duck description: An object appears to be a duck holding a small saxophone, which it has been observed to play at random intervals emitting a single drawn out note followed by a series of melodically unrelated notes sounds produced by a duck are significantly shriller than those produced by a traditional saxophone ghost duck object has the appearance of a duck wearing a sheet similar to a simplistic halloween ghost costume duck has been observed to float five to seven centimeters above solid and liquid surfaces attempts to weigh the object down resulting in the duck phasing through solid object materials flamingo duck does not appear to be anything ambig anonymous about the duck object influ influences the perceptions of any subject holding it and any person speaking to the affected subject once in fact object in fact appears to be a flamingo influences the perceptions of any subject holding it and any person speaking to the effective subject okay interesting very interesting indeed so there's quite a range of different things I mean Some safe, some not so safe. I assume I'm safe to eat the candy, right? Can I eat the candy? Want some candy? Yeah, we're all good on the candy front. All right, guys. Well, that is going to. I'm going to leave it there for tonight for SCP. Um, all honesty, it's been a blast. I've really enjoyed this um, so far. I'm sure there's going to be lots of more spooks and lots more deaths to come in the near future. Um, but yeah, everybody on YouTube, I'm going to end it up there thank you very much for watching we'll be back playing more of this uh in the near future can't lock it down to an exact date and time when that will be but it will be real soon so thank you very much everybody for tuning in on youtube i appreciate it thank you very much i've been knock you've been awesome see ya